And now it looks as if Wales is going to kick off. And it is Hodson, I think, to kick off to open this international. John Wilcox with a breeze and very little wind. A breeze at his back. England defending the open southern end. A line out. Ten yards on the England side of their ten-yard line. Let's look at some England numbers to start with. Budge Rogers, number seven, six. Pat Ford, fits in on top these days, now age 31. The new captain, he has it now. He's dealt with fairly ruggedly by Brian Thomas. Simon Clark kicking on. And it's Dowie Bebb. Who when he first played for Wales against England down at Arms Park, got the try which brought Wales victory. The referee this afternoon, Mr. Kelleher of Ireland, is just out from the Welsh 25. England's ball. Their loose head always on the left. Alex Taylor. The kick for the new wing, Ransom. Hudson. And the chance for England, Ransom. And he's got it. The try. Number five is the new man. There he is at the front of the line out. Number three coming round now. Bob Rao. Alex Taylor. And another nasty one for Gra Graham Hodgson. What a beautiful kick. That's what he was trying to go through with it. Looked as if it was thrown forward by Ken Jones. on the 25 it'll be England's ball knock on by Wales a very seasoned English pack this Ron Jacobs 35 in the front row Stan Hodgson the bits to being 33 although the cynics think he may be a good deal older Peter Ford 31 his first cap beautiful heel by Hodgson Horrocks Taylor off again inside the Bunch Rogers and here goes Terry to score another score David Terry of Bedford 6-0, what a start for England. And the Welsh defence really nowhere. <laughs> Big jump by Brian Price. It would be interesting to see how this England pack last. Apparently they're three years a man on average older than the Welsh pack and it might show in the closing quarter well I think it's time Wales had a bit of luck with the band anyway here they are right down in the corner spurred on by and I guess anything from 15 to 20,000 compatriots up from the principality John Mantle's got it under that lot, well away. Now here goes Watkins. And there goes Ken Jones. This will be a try, will it? Brad Shaw out to bed. He's out. A very fine Welsh try indeed. Scored by Dowie Bevel Swansea. We're in injury time in this first half with that brilliant try and signs of a Welsh revival at forward. David Weaver of Swansea comes from Glyneath. He didn't fancy uh, playing on the wing. However, he got uh, 37 tries for his club there. It's a club record and then he moved on to Swansea. And here he is with a Welsh cap. David Berry. Ran Rogers. Held by Alan Thomas. Mantle with it. Mantle's 
strong at close quarters. Number one in the thick of it, Ron Jacobs. Norman Gale, number two, Horrocks Taylor. Budge Rogers. Mike Weston. Very quick acceleration, lengthening his stride. Gary Bibb. Nice piece of uh, working defence by Bibb. But the line out on the Welsh 25. 6 3. That's all, just three points. Jacobs. Horrocks Taylor. And up and under, a little bit too far forward. Graham Hodgson, no, missing the mark, but recovering well. John Wilcox, just out of your present picture, coming up to have a word with Horrocks Taylor. Will he go for a drop goal, or work the blind side, or will Wilcox come in on the blind side? He's going to come inside, Wilcox, is he? No, a dummy scissors. My word, it's right on the line. Forward pass, I should think. Hudson, Rogers going in there for the charge down. England's ball, Phillips throwing in, just inside the 25. Mike Davis for England. Bob Rowell, well back to Clark. Horrocks Taylor, Alan Thomas, and Mantle going in on him, and rather fluffy tackling. They're letting him go. Ken Jones is under it. Well cut to Mark. Down to the England 25. Mantle trying to put the English one offside. And there's a nasty one for the English defence. It's run into touch by Simon Clark. Memory went back there to Murrayfield last year when that was just what Clyde Rowland spent the whole afternoon doing, looking it back over his forwards' heads. Clyde Rowland leg it out to Watkins. Watkins trying to drop though. Knocked on by Phillips for taking the advantage line. Ken Jones. And here goes there, but he's over. Six all. The second try of the match. Six all it is. I don't know whether that was wishful thinking on Garrowin's part. Five yards it is. <laughs> Three and a half minutes left, plus injury time. Six points. All. This is Ron Jacobs breaking away. Perry is there. And the referee going there, Brian Thomas, and wasn't in touch. The Royals will strive desperately to get it back, but the whistle is gone, and it's a penalty to England. One. Well, their last desperate throw, injury time now. They have the ball for this scrummage. Maybe their last chance. <laughs> Wales, I think, have got it all right. And he's trying, looking for a blind, open side break to the couple of his forwards. There goes Brian Thomas, mantle slipping, Alan Thomas. Bud Rogers piling on him, goes greatly. Perry going away and a penalty to Wales. Oh. Picking the ball out of that mall, off the ground. And it's 
seems to me that Graham Hodgson is in his boot, his hands alone, to win this match now for Wales. Halfway in, a little more than halfway in, just a shade outside the 25. Six points all. Can Hodgson win the match with this kick for Wales? I certainly wouldn't like to be in his boots, Peter. Absolutely vital kick. Just taking plenty of time. Steadies himself. He's had nearly two minutes of injury time. And he's missed it. The referee looking at his watch. Exactly two minutes of injury time gone. Are they beaming English faces or miserable Welsh ones? I leave you to decide. Alex Taylor dropping out. Alan Pats going up. Here comes Ron Jacobs. Back to Horrocks Taylor. Looks to me as if England are happier to sit on this score at the moment than Wales. over three minutes of injury time in this half it's 43 minutes gone and it's the Welsh ball on their own 10 yard line kick to uh Wales against Bud Rogers offside. Wales must run with the ball now, surely. Here goes Clive Rowlands. And St. Paul with it on his 25. And it's no side. The whistle is gone. It's six points all. No triple crown for England or for Wales this season.